I made a US team. I actually get to go to Germany. What's up, everybody? What's happening? What's going on? Sorry, last night was kind of a long night. Uh, we went through team processing until like 1.30 in the morning, um, trying to figure out flights and everything to Germany, where I'm actually going to go compete again for the Thorpe Cup. Um, this will be my fourth time competing for the U.S. Today, I kind of wanted to focus on my competition, how things went, and walk through every event. Um, I don't have any footage of the actual decathlon, just basically what my marks were. So I hope you guys enjoy it while we walk through my events. I'll probably check back in with you guys on the skate to the track today to watch Devin Hurdle. Um, and we'll start with 100. See you guys there. Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? I realized yesterday I probably didn't do the best job at um, my meet recap. So I planned on doing it at the track, but then I ended up helping Devin warm up and do all that fun stuff. Got a little footage of that. So I didn't do a very good job because there were some awesome competitions yesterday. I ended up watching Pole Vault, American Records, Sam Kendricks. I tried to film it. This is what I ended up with. One of my best friends, Cole Walsh, who you guys have seen in the vlog before, I don't know if you guys remember, but he ended up getting second in the US and just crushed it, killed it, it was awesome. He uh, jumped, can't remember what he jumped, but here's one of his jumps. And so yesterday's competition was awesome. So I didn't film a lot of me talking because I was watching people do awesome stuff. So that's that. But to recap my meet. So the first day, obviously, we started with the 100. I ran 1095, which is the fastest I've run in like three years, I think. So that wasn't bad. Then we went on to the long jump. And then my long jump, it went pretty bad. I haven't jumped less than seven meters in a competition in a long time. I jumped 690 something. I don't know. Still less than seven meters. But then we went to shot put. Shot put actually went a little bit better than expected. Right now I'm watching the heptathlon long jump. They started at 2.30 this morning. Um, so the most athletic woman in the United States will be crowned today. Um, like I said, shot put went fairly well for me. I threw 13 mid-ish, which is probably the farthest I've thrown in a minute outside of practice. And then for the high jump, nobody really jumped well. I think the highest jump was like 205 or something, which isn't really great for the caliber of jumpers we had. Um, I actually jumped 194. Couldn't even make 197 in two meters. So. The best piece of advice I have for someone trying to succeed in the film industry or any creative space is if you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. I think I left you guys talking about my high jump, jump 194, not the greatest, like I said. Um, but Devin just ran, he made it to finals. 
Uh, he ran a smart race. He only needed to get top four. He got into top four. We're headed in to go check on him right now. Next day, I actually opened up with like a second best time ever in the hurdles. Ran 14.64, I think. Discus is an event you guys know I struggle with. It's not my best. Um, threw 37 on my first throw, super passive. Next two throws were better throws, but fouled both of them, so not that big of a deal. Um, and then we went on to pole vault, and pole vault was actually pretty fun. And we're back with another episode. <laughs> yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Mitch's Vlog. I'm your host, DA, AKA King Allen XXXI, AKA The Funky Monkey, AKA Child Please, AKA Get Out There While I'm Out There, You Might As Well Kiss The Baby. We just finished the first semi and I made it through the final. So I'm running the final in like an hour and a half. And they got LSU over here making fun of me. But he never actually finished the second. So, but yeah, so on to the final. I'm gonna hand it back to Mitch and Tim. Yeah, Devin's got the final in. He runs at 7 something, right? 7.20. In an hour and 17 minutes. Donovan Brazier just won the 800. Okay, so yesterday I guess I kind of stopped updating everybody after. Devin took over there for a second. That was right before the final. Devin did end up making it through to Doha, the World Championships. He ended up placing third. He ran 1339, I believe, 1338, um, to get third to make it to that world team. Uh, Freddie Crittenden ran 1339, one hundredth of a second slower than Devin and didn't qualify. It sucks. We're on our way now to breakfast with Devin's girlfriend Morgan Mitchell who is a world-class 400 runner turned 800 runner and is still a world-class 800 runner. She's a stud. She ran two flat earlier this year which is insane. Freak. So I guess while we're walking or while I'm skating to breakfast I could update you on how my meet actually went. Pole vault was pretty fun. I actually ended up jumping from short approach 470, I think. I missed 480, that's okay. Happens. And then in the javelin after that, I only threw like 54 or something like that. Not great, 54 meters, 170 some feet or 180 feet. And then 1500, I just barely broke five minutes. I ended up scoring 74 mid on only really having one good event. I pretty much only did the hurdles well. Everything else was pretty subpar. Qualifying for a US team on a not so great mark and not really having a very good event. I'll take that any day of the week. So that was the girl that was crossing the street. That was Morgan. Um, we went to breakfast at this little Australian coffee place because she's Australian. I hope you can hear me. The window is not too bad. But um, we went to coffee there. And then we walked back to our hotel because she's leaving for, uh, she's leaving to go back to Arizona to go chill with Devin. And we're leaving the air, or we're, we just got to our hotel. And the person I see is Sam Kendricks. He obviously knows Morgan because Devin and Sam are friends. And then he gets to talk to me. So that was super sick. Um, got to meet Sam Kendricks, who this weekend, if you didn't know, broke the American record in the pole vault and was the second highest jump outdoors ever, I believe. Which is, which is insane. The only person that's jumped higher than him outdoors is Bubka. So, I got to talk with him for a second. 
He asked about the vlog, so Sam, if you actually get to see this, what's up? It was a pleasure meeting you. Um, you're a legend. Had coffee with an Olympian, and then got to chat with an American record holder, an Olympian, and world champion. Not a bad way to start your Monday, to be honest. And got to skate a little bit, and make a vlog. So, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. It's a freaking good day.